Hello, my name is Dr. Gill. I've been asked to do an examination of your shoulders today. Before we start, can I please confirm your name and date of birth? It's uh, Ross Cooper, and it's the 2nd of August, 1994. Super, thank you. So, in terms of doing this examination, it's going to involve you taking your shirt off. I'll be having a look at uh, your chest and uh, arms and back, and I'm getting you to do some movements, um, and we'll see how your shoulders are from there. Are you happy to proceed with that? Uh, yes. Super, so if I can get you to take your shirt off for me, please. So having a look uh, from the front, I can't see any obvious uh, imbalances with regard to the shoulders. I can't see any um, scars or issues with the clavicles. Having a look from the side, I can't see any issues on the right arm. And from the back, again, things appear to be equal. I can't see any imbalances to the scapula, nor clear wasting. And on the opposite shoulder, again, I can't see any clear issues there. So we appear to have a normal appearance, but if I, I could confirm that, please, if you could please put your arms against the wall as if you were trying to do a push-up. And then pressing against the wall, I can't see any winging of the scapula, nothing is pressing forward, so we appear to have a normal um, appearance on the back there. So if you come backwards for me and turn to face away, please. So we've not seen any issues, so I'm just going to press around um, your back, if that's okay. So starting off on the spine of the scapula, we're coming along, checking over the uh, acromium, and there's the acromiocavicular joint, starting at the sternocavicular head, walking along the clavicle, along to the acromiocavicular joint, and then pressing down the bicep. Coming around over the rhomboids, any issues there? No. And down to the uh, pole of the scapula. So we're going to do the same again on this side, so pressing along the spine of the scapula, checking over the muscles there, to the, uh, along the acromium, and then starting at the sternocavicular head, walking along the clavicle, looking for any evidence of steps that might suggest previous breaks, to the acromiocavicular joint, and then down the bicep. So that all feels normal to myself. And then pressing over the deltoid, and along over the um, plane of the scapula, checking the rotated cuffs, and down to the pole of the scapula. So there's no obvious issues with that. If you could turn to face me, please. We're now going to do some movements. So with your thumbs forward, if you can come all the way up over the top for me. Brilliant. And then backwards. Excellent. And relax the sides. I'm looking all the while for symmetry, so hands by your sides all the way out to top over the touch. And brilliant. Hand back down again. And with your arms at 90 degrees, if you turn out, Super, so we've got good movement there. Now, in a moment, I'm going to ask you to turn around, and when we do so, I'm going to ask you to put your dominant hand up your back as high as you can. I'm then going to note where that mark is, and then I'm going to ask you to push away, please. Okay, so taking this arm, if you could reach up your back as high as you can for me. Super, so I'm leaving a mark, and just push away for me now. Brilliant, and then we swap over our arms for me, all the way up, so we've got to the same level, and push away for me. Excellent, so good strength on both sides, an excellent range of uh, internal rotation. So I'm now going to stand to the side, and if we can get to reach your arms back as far as you can. Excellent, so we've got good flexion and normal extension. Okay, so I'm just going to do those movements for you. So flexion, extension, abduction, and internal and external rotations, those are good. And I'm keeping my hand over the shoulder, flexion, extension, abduction, internal and external rotation, all the while there was no crepitus there. So I can't see any issues with that. If you could just turn away for me for a second, please. And if you could take the arm all the way out to the side and up to the top for me. Okay, and then back down again. Okay, so we've got excellent range of the shoulder, and it's not being done from the, um, the scapula. And same again all the way up, and then back down. Fantastic. Okay, coming back to face me, please. Um, what I'd like you to do is take your arms up to 90 degrees and hold it there. Super. Any pains or problems with that? No. Super. So if you could slowly bring the arm down for me. And no issues with that. Great. And then all the way up, slowly, palms up, and then back down. So no signs of a painful arc there. That's excellent. 
So I'm just going to test your ability. Could you just scratch the back of your head for me with both arms? Okay, and that was super. And if you could scratch up your back for me. And the other side. Super, thank you. Um, I'm just going to do some extra movements. So I'm going to pick up your arm, coming across, and I'm going to move it. Tell me if there's any discomfort there. No. Super, so I'm going to do the same again. So bringing the arm up, across, and turning in. Does that cause any discomfort there? No. Super, thank you. 